This is Dr. Victor Raghi bringing you latest update in cardiovascular therapy area and the second study is on ticagrelor or monotherapy in patients at high bleeding risk undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention. Patients at high bleeding risk represents a prevalent subgroup among those undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention. Early aspirin discontinuation after a short course of dual antiplatelet therapy has emerged as a bleeding avoidance strategy. The aim of the study was to assess the effects of ticagrelor monotherapy in reducing the incidence of primary endpoint of 2, 3 or 5 BARC grade bleeding after 3 months of dual antiplatelet therapy in a contemporary high bleeding risk population. Event-free patients were randomized to 12 months of aspirin or placebo in addition to ticagrelor after 3 months of ticagrelor plus aspirin. At the end of the study, it was observed that ticagrelor monotherapy had reduced incidence of the primary endpoint compared with ticagrelor plus aspirin, that is 6.3% versus 11.4% with hazard ratio of 0.53 with absolute risk difference of minus 2.8%. A similar pattern was observed for more severe BARC grade 3 or 5 bleeding with larger absolute risk reduction in high bleeding risk patients that is minus 3.5% versus minus 0.5% with significance of 0.008. There was no significant difference in the key secondary endpoint of death, myocardial infarction or stroke between treatment arms irrespective of high bleeding risk status. Thus the study concluded that among high bleeding risk patients undergoing percutaneous coronary interventions who completed three months of dual antiplatelet therapy without experiencing major adverse events, aspirin discontinuation followed by ticagrelor monotherapy significantly reduced bleeding without increasing ischemic events compared with ticagrelor plus aspirin. Thus, the absolute risk reduction in major bleeding was larger in high bleeding risk patients compared to a non-high bleeding risk patient. Thank you.